everybody uh, nice to see you welcome to another Monday mashup today I'm going to be sharing with you um, a card using the brand new sending smiles stamp set now this will be available later this week um, it is really a gorgeous gorgeous stamp set um, so many possibilities with it and I can't wait to to try out some new sort of techniques and stuff with it so this is sending smiles and then this is the um, sending dies so you can see we've got various little elements that match our stamps and we've got this lovely um, word send in, which is a sort of fine script with a shadow on it as well, if you wanted to use a shadow. Um, but they can, this one certainly could be used independently. So I wanted to sort of have a little play with it and see what you think. And I just think it's one of those that's going to go really, really well. Um, it's going to be really popular, I think. So let's get started. So first thing I want to do is um, actually grab one of the other stamps. I've just realised I didn't include this one in my little repertoire. So I'm going to take one of those out. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to create some masking. Now in, um, excuse me while I just grab myself another block. There we go. Okay, so um, yes, yeah, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is masking. Now in the new catalogue, although it's not available to us just yet until the catalogue goes live we're getting some new masking paper now i know i'm going to love this i'm going to use it so much because it's such a useful thing to have but in the meantime whilst i don't have any um masking paper what i'm going to use is this sort of repositionable paper that i use quite a bit it's not overly sticky it's just sort of um like a post-it note type sticky so you can just lift it off and you've got no fear of it actually hurting your page so I'm just going to quickly pop that on there because what I want to do is I want to cut it into some strips okay now the reason I've popped it onto a piece of card here and now I can't get it off my my page <laughs> is because um, obviously it has a sticky back so if I try and cut that um, that is going to be an absolute nightmare okay so I don't want to do that what I want to do is I want to have um, some nice strips now um, I'm going to need um, one two probably six so I shall get four out of this I suspect so I'm going to make them a centimeter wide at this stage so I want four at a centimeter and this is going to give me my outside border so it's three and four now what I actually need is two half centimeters and I don't think that that's going to be wide enough so let's pop another strip on here Just trim that edge off I'm just going to do one and two okay this will all become clear in a while right okay so I've got my strips now what you're going to need today is your card base which I'm using um, a basic white thick card base and this is um, our full A4 length which is 29.75 centimeters by 10 and a half high we can put that to one side for the moment um, but what I have got here is a piece of um, basic white again but this is our normal basic white this isn't the thick one um, I'm using this because it's got more of a it's got a smoother surface and I'm going to be doing some blending work okay so um, this one measures um, 13.85 by nine and a half so it's a centimeter smaller than our card front so very carefully I want to peel these one centimeter strips off of my card and I'm going to just try and make sure i tell you what i will do i'm going to pop a bit of darker paper behind so that i can see where that edge is as i say once we get our masking paper this is going to be so much easier but i wanted to show you today okay so i've got a centimeter there so it's just a really fun technique for sort of blending and things like that Isn't this colour beautiful as well? This is um, Starry Sky. So this is another one of our new in colours. I'm going to be showing you some of those in a moment. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually creating myself a border. 
So I've only got one of my half strips. There we go. It's still in the trimmer. Yeah, so this is actually... Um, um, I'm going to be using these in colours today just to sort of give you a little taste of sort of how beautiful they are, really. And I'm using a few of them together because although they work really nicely as standalone, they also work really nice together. And you'll see that there's some sort of options to mix them with some of our other beautiful colours as well. I'm just going to trim these off because I don't want these hanging around too much. Okay, and one last one. So this is going at the top. Those little one centimetre strips will probably be great for our little greetings in this set, so I shall keep those safe. Okay, so the technique I'm using today, you can um, use any colours you want to. So I'm just using in colours just because they're new and I thought it'd be nice to showcase them with you a little bit. Right, okay, so as you can see, this is um, very low tack, so it's not intended to um, hold everything in place really strong. It is a low tack adhesive. And what I want to do with these one centimetre, or half centimetre strips, I should say, I want to create a cross, okay? So I'm going to position my piece of card. Now, obviously, it's a odd measurement, so I'm just going to line it up by eye and I want to put across the middle at top and bottom okay that will suffice and then I'm going to do the same with the other side so I'm just going to position it so that I've got it central to that centre point, which I think is about there. Okay, so effectively what I've created is four windows. Sorry, I had a bit of fluff on that, I just needed to remove. Let's try that again. Still there, can you see it? There we go, got it. Okay, so I've created myself four windows. I'm gonna leave that one longer there because that will just hold my piece in place for me. And what I want to do is I want to color one of these each at a time. So I'm going to use some more of my paper here and I'm just going to use it to mask off the areas where I don't want there to be any ink, okay? So I'm only going to need three at any given time. And can you see I've just got a little gap there, just be careful of that, you just want to make sure <clears throat> that everything is covered. Okay, so I'm going to start with Parakeet Party, that will be my first colour, and I'm going to be using our blending brushes today. So let me choose one that's They've all been washed, they have a little bit of marking on them, um, but they are clean. Okay, so I'm picking up some Parakeet Party. Just going to take some of it off there. Now what I want to do is I want to start from this corner and work across in a diagonal. So I always start off the page and I'm going to start working into that diagonal. Now I want this part to remain really light. So I might not even go over it hardly at all, but I want to be able to see that square or that rectangle, I should say. So I just need to do it very lightly to give me a border. Okay, I'm going to pick up some more ink and I'm just going to build up the colour in this bottom right hand corner here. And just blend it up a little bit more. And one last time, I'm just going to add some more ink just to the bottom here just to build it up so that we get a nice layering of ink. 
Okay, so can you see how lovely this parakeet party is? Because it starts off sort of a lemony yellowy tones and then it turns to this really deep green, almost like our, um, my other favourite colour, Granny Apple Green. I couldn't think of the name of it for a moment. So, okay, so once I've done that, I can finish with that colour. That's fine. Now what I want to do is to do some stamping. And I'm going to do each one in turn because um, I think it will make it so much easier to do Otherwise, I'm going to have to recover things. So I'm using a black memento ink. And I want to take um, one of my stamps. So I'm just going to make sure that I get a really nice covering of ink. So this is going to be like a silhouette. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to stamp it onto my page. And I want to put some kind of flower head on that. Now we're going to do everything in black today. So I'm going to go for this little daisy here. So this is sort of a, a, a daisy um, that has the top bit that sticks out. And I can never remember what they're called. But take my word for it. Okay, so I just want to stamp into there. Don't worry if it goes off on these edges. That's what we want because we want it to look like it's falling out of the um, actual square. And this is just the little top of the daisy, which again is black. So I'm just going to ink that through and then pop that on top. Okay, so that is my first one done. So I'm going to peel this back now and I just want to carefully cover this. I want to make sure really that that ink is as dry as it can be. So I'm just going to very lightly tap that. Okay, so next I'm going to go for Tahitian Tide. Uh, again, this is a really beautiful blue, really bright and vibrant, which is really lovely. So I'm going to pick up another brush. You hear Tippy Toes coming through again, my little doggy. She always likes to be wherever I am. And now she's going to make her bed and make a noise. Okay, so I'm going to start in this corner again. And I'm gradually going to build that colour up. Just lightly colour it over to the top. As I say, we don't want much colour in this top. We just want to be able to see that the um, colour is moving. Please excuse her making her bed. Okay, I shall talk over and hope that she'll stop in a second. So I'm just going to add a little bit more colour. And again, concentrating onto this corner here. OK, so I think that's probably enough. That's fine. So again, I'm going to take my... Um, stamps and which one shall we go for this time I quite fancy this little one here it's quite tall so I think I'm going to ink that one first so that I get all of that it's a bit like sort of lavender or something doesn't it now, I haven't inked this one before so I'm just going to ink off on my desk just to make sure okay so I'll pop that one there And I'm going to use the same flower stem for this one. I'm going to go up a little bit so that it gets a little bit more of those leaves in place. Okay, so that's our second one done. So I'm going to move this one off here. And if we just peel this off, you can see how we've got the two different ones there. Now, I'm going to probably replicate this one over here. Um, and do a different one on this one, I think. I think I'm going to use the same stem for them all because it's a singular stem. So I think that would be probably the best way to go. So next colour, um, I had Tahitian there, didn't I? Yes, I'm going to go for um, Orchid Oasis this time. And again, this is more like a sort of a lavendery sort of blue. It's a really, really nice colour. I'm going to use that same blender because it's a darker colour so it's going to it reminds me of ink actually from school days now it's quite a deep colour this so I am going to really carefully start off my page and just bring that in as I say 
just to that top edge. So I don't really want any colour as such here. I just want to be able to be able to um, get an outline when we remove our masks. So I'm just going to build this up here. As I say, don't be frightened to sort of build it up slowly because you get a much better effect and much better blending if you just build it up really, really slowly. And don't necessarily go and f fall for the ink pad again. Go a little bit for um, what we've wiped off in the lid there because this, this ink is still good ink. It'll be used for painting and other techniques that we might come up with. So this time um, I want to use the other daisy. So this is this one here. Um, no, in fact, actually what I'm going to do, I had a rethink. I'm going to use the lavender again because then we will have two daisies and two lavenders. So it will look much nicer. And this time I'm going to just go off to the edge. And again, I'm just going to pick up. And just go up just a little bit. Okay. So that's number three. So you can see how they're starting to come together. Um, I didn't want to remove that one, did I? It's this one. So I'm just going to cover that one up now. And the final colour I'm going to use today is um, Sweet Sorbet, which is our beautiful sort of ready colour. So let me just grab all the ink pads and everything around me. It's... <laughs> Okay, so this is Sweet Sorbet. Again, very deep colour. So we just need to be that little bit more careful with it and start off the page before we start bringing it into our area. And you can see I'm not putting hardly any pressure on this because I want that to remain light, remember. So just hardly any pressure and then when we go back in we won't go up as far. And then I'll pick up some more into this corner. And I'm not going to go to its full intensity because I think it will overpower some of the other colours. So we'll leave it as that, I think. And as I say, I'm going to use this beautiful daisy this time. And the same stem again. And there is a little stamp which just goes inside there. Okay, so I'm just going to move everything out of the way and remove all my ink pads and blender brushes so I don't get anything on my white card. And I'm just going to peel these off slowly. And you can see how they're starting to all look really pretty now although this is very low tack i want to remove this very very carefully so just try and you know just be gentle with it so you can see how i'm getting these edges and even on these very light edges i'm still getting a border which is what i wanted to achieve to get this really lovely sort of finish so just be a little bit careful. It shouldn't lift anything. Normal post-it notes would work for this as well. Might just have to use a few, but you would be able to get the same technique. Now, can you see that that has bled just very lightly under that um, mask? That's because obviously I didn't stick it down quite um, well enough, but that's that's fine. It's an opportunity for an embellishment, as we always say. So don't worry about it. We're looking to get all these colours showing, really. So I'm going to bring in my card front again. Pretty, doesn't it? So I'm going to pop this onto here. And I'm not going to put any other colours on it because I think the colours there are just vibrant enough. We have got some um, matte um, dots which are in the in colours. So these will complement this really nice and this will give us an opportunity for a little 
little thing here. So what I'm going to do is take the dies and I'm going to cut the send in, I think from black because I think it will complement those um, uh, silhouettes that we've got there. So bear with me one moment whilst I just cut those out. And then I just want to pop out the little dot. Can you see that? That's it's tiny. Okay, let's cut this out. So I want to put this across the middle and put my dot back on. I'm just wondering now actually whether it would look better with a white. Let's try it. It's always good to have a fill around and try and before you sort of glue anything in place, you can just sort of see if there's somewhere that you'd like something to, to be. I always have a bit of a dry run when I'm making cards. So before I glue, anything in place I literally have a little bit of a dry run just to um, make sure that I'm happy with what's there okay so this is the the little <clears throat> border that it can sit on we'll push it into place in a second but I think actually that will look better I think it will make it stand out a little better so what I'm going to do um, you can cut these on our um, sticky sheets that you can get they're quite good I, I tend not to use them a great deal for this sort of thing I must be honest and I don't know why because it does make your life quite a lot easier but I'm so used to using um, a little bit of glue that I can't that's just stuck with me really now this is PVA glue this isn't multi-purpose glue so this will dry clear and it doesn't remain tacky like our multi-purpose glue so you've got no fear of it actually um, remaining all gloopy for you. I'm just going to gently position this on here. When you've got a very fine font like this, sometimes you find that it, it becomes distorted as you've taken it out of the die. So I just very carefully just pushed it back into its position. Okay, so I'm going to just pop a little just going to pick up the little dot. As I say, this dries clear, so don't panic if it goes over the edges a bit. You don't see it at all. Okay, so I think that's going to look a lot better. Yes, it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create the rest of my greeting. So in the stamp set, we've got all these different greetings. So we're saying we're sending all the good luck your way. Sunshine's bright in your day. All sorts of things really um, I'm gonna use that sunshine to brighten your day because I think this is a really cheery card and I'm actually going to heat emboss it onto a piece of sweet sorbet so quickly used a a um, bossing buddy just to stop any fingerprints or anything like that. I just want to go up a tad because I want to be able to cut this out using the die. I always use this scrap piece of card and it gives me my American sizes when I'm making <laughs> the uh, imperial sized cards. Okay, so I'm just going to heat emboss this now. 
Okay, so I'm just going to use the long die, this one here. Okay, so I've now cut my other greeting, which I'm going to pop onto here in a little while. Um, I think actually I'm going to get away with that little blob there, look by the, the D. So I think we can get away with that. So let's glue that into place first. It's just a nice way to showcase, I think, all the in colours to you, which you can get your hands on this week, which is fabulous. Okay, so I'm just going to position that just over there so that that hides that nicely for me. See, an opportunity. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to pop this. I'm just going over here. I don't want to co cover too much of that um, S, but you can get away with a little bit here. So I'm just going to grab some dimensionals just to pop on to the end. So before I position this in place, I do just want to add a little bit of our new metallic ribbon. This is so pretty. Now this is Starry Night, so I'm just bringing in another little colour. I don't want, don't want it to be very wide, so I'm not actually making it into a bow. <clears throat> I'm just cutting it quite fine. I'm just looking for my glue dot, so I'm just going to pop it onto a glue dot just to hold it all in place. I might need a couple actually. Okay, and this is just going to pop over the top here. I can rearrange that in a second if I want to rearrange it anymore. As I say, don't be afraid to sort of move things if they're not quite where you want them. So there we go. So that is my um, little card there. Now you can choose to either um, pop this up on onto dimensionals, which is what I'm going to do, or if you don't want to, you can stick it flat, depending on whether you're posting or whatever you're doing. I like to give it a little bit of support, just so it doesn't sink in the middle. open that flat whilst I do this part. I'm just going to pop it on top. And there we go. So that is just a cute little card made using the new in colours so that we could get a nice sort of blend and we could see some of them all together. It's also highlighting this beautiful new stamp set which I absolutely love called Sending Smiles. Um, one thing we did forget, look we forgot to put on some little gems, or I forgot I should say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some that are the same colours. So I think we'll have, this is Orchid. I'm probably not going to do them in all of them. I think I'll just do these two. So this one's Tahitian. That's it. That looks lovely. Okay, so that's our card done for today. It really is done now. Um, I hope you like that. It was just a little bit of fun, as I say, to show off some of the new in colours. Um, and I hope you'll um, indulge yourself and, and order yourself some new in colours and start enjoying them like we all are. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again soon. Bye.